The Skill RT1322 router kit is one of the lowest price router sets out there, but is it worth it? Today we're gonna get this thing unboxed. We're gonna talk about some of the specs, the things that I like, the things that I don't like, and of course, test it out trying something that I've never done before. So generally I have a buy once, cry once mentality when it comes to buying tools for the shop, but this Skill RT1322 router kit is probably one of the best deals out there. So I knew I just had to get it so I could show you guys if it's any good or not. Uh, so let's get this bad boy out of the box and see what it came with. First thing that comes out of here is the instructions. We obviously don't need those. Got the plunge base, got the router itself. This is the fixed base. It's like some guide rods, some of the dust collector pieces. Yep, edge guide. And of course the wrench. Now that we have this thing out of the box, we can talk about some of the specs for this router, as well as my good and bad first impressions, and of course, wrapping up with a real world test. I'm gonna be using this plunge based and an engraving bit to attempt to carve a really cool sign. I've actually never attempted anything like this before, especially not freehand, but I'm hoping that doesn't require a lot of skill. No? <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's talk specs. According to the website, the Skill RT1322-00 has versatility and power, which is some great marketing speak, but kind of checks out because unlike similarly pressed routers, the Skill RT1322 router has a cut that fits a quarter inch and half inch bits. Not a very common feature, but definitely a handy one. It also has a soft start 2.5 horsepower motor with electronic feedback and adjustable speed from 10,000 to 25,000 RPM via this cool digital display on top. Speaking of the LCD display, this thing is kind of neat. It lets you adjust the speed, but you can also type in the bit type and the material, and it will actually calculate the recommended speed. The negative is that the icons kind of look like a mushroom, a Christmas tree, a cross and some sort of weird palm tree. There's also this live tool indicator right up here. I actually really like this feature because at a glance, you can tell if the router is even plugged in. Safer? Yes. But more importantly, I'll be less likely to try and router something without first plugging it into the wall. Wouldn't want to look like a moron on camera now, would I? Both the fixed base and the plunge base have these coarse and micro adjustment depth stops, which definitely make dialing in the perfect depth a lot easier than on my old Craftsman router. Actually, the biggest draw to this router was that it came in both the plunge base and the fixed base. I've never had a plunge router before, but there are some projects that I wanted to do where plunging a fixed base router can be a bit scary. It's really impressive how easy they made swapping these two different bases. All you have to do is unlock this latch, pull out the router, and then drop it into the new base. And you're done. And as a bonus, the Skill RT1322 comes with extra dust collection shroud. They even fit the plunge base. Again, way better than what I was working with, that terrifying Craftsman router. Not many other routers come with all these extra bits and pieces. So it's kind of wild that a router this cheap has all these extra accessories. I'm really excited to give this thing a whirl, but before we get on to making the test sign, let's recap on some first impressions. I really like how easy it is to swap between the fixed and the plunge bases. I've seen other routers where this is a little bit more complicated, but Skill did a great job keeping things simple. Also, both the fixed and the plunge base have a depth adjustment stop that can be accessed from the table side of the router. This means that I could actually mount one of these bases under a router table and then adjust the height just using a wrench through this hole right here. No fancy router lift required. And last, but certainly not least, the color scheme on this thing is just looking great. Skill's new marketing team is doing a great job. On the bad side, I'd originally thought that this course adjustment lock right here was all plastic. But as it turns out, 
it actually has a metal piece inserted into the plastic so it actually moves it up into the good category. But in its place is that there are actually three notches for the course adjustment lock, but the router bottoms out on the table before the lock can actually fall into the last notch. Kind of weird. I'm also not really happy with how rough the plunge action is. There's a lot of stick slip and grit, and I'm hoping that I can just clean up the rails and reapply some new grease, but We'll see. The only other thing I noticed is that overall, the Skill RT1322 is a little bit bulky. If you've ever picked up a Festool, Bosch, or even a DeWalt, you know what, these tools just feel like a quality tool. The Skill feels like a normal whatever tool. Nothing stands out as being exceptionally cheap, but also doesn't give the vibe of ultra high quality either. I know that this is really subjective, but hey, how would you describe it? These are just some of the things to consider. I have no idea if there'll be a problem later on down the road. That will require a few more projects and some extensive testing, but definitely keep an eye out for my official review after I get some hours on this bad boy. All right, let's go and try to make something with this new fancy router. Then I'll share my final thoughts. So I already have my stock prep and ready to go. It's a piece of plywood with black laminate on it. I think it's gonna look pretty nice. I'm a big fan of black laminate. Of course, I have a template here, which I'll glue on with some spray adhesive. And I think this is gonna work pretty nice. What do you think, Sid? Is this gonna work? I think it'll work. Let's roll the montage. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I was a little worried that it looked like a four-year-old engraved it with a crayon, but I'm thinking this is more like five or six years old. Overall, I'm really happy with this router so far. It just seems like a great deal for all the accessories you get. Um, although I'm a little concerned about a couple of minor things, I'll definitely be giving this router a workout over the next couple of months. So keep an eye out for a full-blown tool review out there sometime in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.